Dania Zinarova, welcome to the Alternatives Symposium. Thank you. Can you give us some background on Wilson Asset Management's Alternatives capability? Well, I manage Wilson Asset Management Alternative Assets Fund, and I bring over 20 years of investment experience in alternative asset classes across private equity, real estate, infrastructure, etc. Wilson Asset Management started um, managing alternatives in, in 2020. So within the organization, it's still a relatively new asset class. But for me, I've been doing it throughout my entire career. And what does a universe of assets look like for that, the multi-asset strategy you manage? Very broad opportunity set within alternatives. I like using the definition that alternative assets are tangible assets, which makes it easier to filter out strategies like hedge funds or cryptocurrency. So what we include in the portfolio is private equity, infrastructure, real estate, real assets that includes water rights and agriculture. But the reality is the universe can be much broader than that. And what do you see as the key benefits of this multi-strategy approach within client portfolios? Look, a number of great benefits associated with adding alternatives to an investment portfolio, such as diversification benefits, because some of the asset classes, like for example, water rights, would have negative or low correlation to listed equities and fixed income. So it's about constructing a portfolio driven where the returns are driven by different risk premia. Hence, providing stronger diversification benefits, providing some downside protection to the overall portfolio, but also adding natural inflation hedge and interest rate hedge. And how have you seen the opportunities to access alternatives for retail investors evolve over your career? I would say there have been more offerings coming to the market within the retail segment over the last three to four years. So historically, I'd say real estate and private equity or venture capital, they'd be the two main asset classes where retail investors could get could gain access to. Over the last uh, few years, this offering definitely expanded. So we do see private debt strategies offered to retail investors. We do see infrastructure strategies offered. So it's a very exciting time because retail investors are now getting more and more familiar with those asset classes. And what would be the most important advice you have to financial advisors looking to expand their alternative allocations? I would say develop a robust investment due diligence framework that would help you making the investment decisions which strategy to invest in. Remembering that those are illiquid asset classes. We are locking in capital for five, seven, ten years, sometimes even longer. Extremely important to do thorough investment due diligence upfront. So understanding where you invest, not just um, base the decisions on the fact what are the target returns, which often happens. Um, but building this knowledge and expertise, how to invest in those asset classes, what structures would be more appropriate depending on their clients, etc. Dania, thank you. Thank you very much.